hello students welcome back to grammar class hope all of you are studying properly okay so today we are moving with lesson 4 parts of speech this is actually the basic component of english grammar okay there are eight parts of speech otherwise you can call it as world class word classes that is also other name so talking about parts of speech there are eight parts of speech in english language which are the noun pronoun verb adverb adjective prepositions conjunctions interjections these are the eight parts of speech in english language now let us study that in detail take page number 14 first one is noun what is a noun you already studied in your smaller classes is it noun is a name of a person noun is a name of a thing noun is a name of an animal all these are called as nouns okay see one example suppose i am writing india is my country what is a noun here you can easily identify india as a noun okay so this is called a noun next one is pronoun what do you mean by pronoun pronoun means it's a word which is used in the place of a noun that is called a pronoun see the example he gave me the news yesterday so he the word he let's see that pronoun i'll write other example she is reading a book what is a pronoun here she is the pronoun because it is used in the place of a noun suppose i am telling uh, for example abel abel is a good boy he studies in grade 5 so abel is a noun that's the name of a boy and pronoun pronoun means a word which is used in the place of a noun he he studies in 5b or 5a or grade 5 so that particular child abel is a noun and it is replaced by a pronoun he so that word he she or these are called as pronouns the next one noun and pronoun we studied then the next is verb what is a verb verb is an action word you studied that is it verb is an action a word now you know children verb can be divided into many categories that you will study later but for just for your information i am telling you verbs can be divided into action verbs helping verbs then have verbs like that it is divided okay so not only uh, you know action was like jumping playing eating that's verb that's that's action verbs action verbs so uh, some other category of verbs are there just like helping verbs is am are was were all these are helping verbs that's also a verb okay then have verbs what do you mean by have verbs the words like has have had all these are also verbs so you should not confine verbs only to actions verbs are action words but there are some other category of verbs like just i said see the example in your textbook see the indian team beat the australian team the students of our class are very intelligent the elephant has large ears so here beat are and has are verbs it's so not only action or beat means you can see that that 
that comes an action word r r is what that is helping verb that is also a verb then has has is also a category of verbs which comes under have verbs okay now let's see one simple example of a verb see for example she eats ice cream what is a verb here eats okay this word eats is an action word so this is also a verb now the next one verb we studied then add verb what is add verb add verb the name itself we can guess what do you mean by add verb add verb means giving more details about a verb is called add verb how action is performed that is called add verb okay let's see one example uh see i am writing the boy ran fast okay just see this example the boy ran fast what is the verb here what is the verb here ran is the verb and it is modifying okay it is giving more information how the boy ran is it slow no it's fast so this is called add verb how action is performed that is add verb now let us study about adjective what do you mean by adjective what is adjective adjective tells more about a noun it describes the noun that is adjective let's see one example see the example in the textbook the old man had two dogs see two is also adjective okay because that comes under adjective of number that you will study after two or three chapters there is one chapter called adjectives that you will study in detail here see adjective i'll tell write other example the girl wore a green frock so tell me what is adjective here it is describing giving a quality it's giving a quality so quality to the noun frock so which will be the adjective green will be the adjective because it is describing the noun frock what color what type so the adjective also can be divided into adjective of quality adjective of quantity okay so this comes as adjective of quality because it is uh, adding a quality to the noun so here green is adjective in your textbook also it is given here the old man had two dogs old is adjective because it's giving more information about the noun man okay next one is prepositions what do you mean by preposition you already studied in your grade 3 about what preposition is preposition means preposition preposition means it shows a relationship between a noun and a pronoun in a sentence okay very precisely i would say it says about the location where the noun is where the pronoun is it shows about the location of a noun or a pronoun in a sentence for example the cat sat under the table what is the position location preposition that means it shows actually the location 
or the relationship between a noun or a pronoun in a sentence. So, what is the position or location which is described here? It is under the table. So, this under is called a preposition. I kept the book on the table. What is the preposition used there? It is on, on the table. Okay. So, that is called preposition. And now the next one is conjunctions. Conjunctions. What do you mean by conjunction? Let us see that. Conjunctions. Conjunctions are joining words. Okay, for example, I am just telling she is sick, she did not come to school. So, how will you join that two sentences into single one? She did not come to school because she was sick or she is sick. So, the joining word junction how you travel in a junction junction means it's a place where all the road meets is it it's a joining place similarly conjunction means it is joining sentences into one okay now see the example of the textbook jitu and mona are my classmates jitu and mona and this is the conjunction which is used here it's a joining word it joins two sentences into one and and is a joining word it act as a bridge between two places is it jitu and mona are my classmates jitu is my classmate mona is my classmate so how will you join that jitu and mona are my classmates so that is conjunction and now the last one is interjection i'll write one more example in conjunction see i tried hard but i failed so how will you write how will you trace out the conjunction here? Uh, it is but, but is the conjunction here. I tried hard, I failed. So, how will you join it in, in the exams questions will be asked like use conjunctions, use suitable conjunctions and combine the sentence. So, here I tried hard, I failed. You can use the conjunction and join this in two sentences into one. I tried hard but I failed. So, this is conjunction. Now, let us move to interjections. What do you mean by interjections? What is interjection? Interjections are words which show sudden emotions. Okay, sudden emotions, feelings of surprise and all you use interjections that words. Hooray, wow, ouch, all these are interjections. See, the word written in the bold in the textbook, hooray, my team has won. So, I am just writing ouch, O-U-C-H. This is interjection, ouch, my head is paining. Or ouch, I fell down from the stairs. So, ouch means it is sudden emotions, words which shows sudden emotions or this is called, these words are called as interjections. So, I hope it is clear. Please take your textbook on the page. Exercise A. Circle the noun, underline the pronoun and draw boxes around adjectives in the following sentences. This one you have to put your mind properly and do children. Focus on the topic and do it. Circle the noun, underline the pronoun, draw boxes around adjectives in the following. First example I will tell you, Suhana is a sweet girl. What is Suhana? Suhana is a noun. So, what you have to do? Circle the noun. So, circle Suhana. Then, 
underline the pronoun can you see any pronoun here he she no nothing is there in the first one draw boxes around adjectives what is the adjective which describes a noun sweet is the adjective because the girl is described as sweet so here you have to draw boxes draw a box around adjective okay second one how will you do she wanted to buy the brown teddy bear so here what is the noun noun is teddy bear is a noun then underline the pronoun what is the pronoun here she she is the pronoun and adjective adjective means which describes a noun here brown is the adjective hope you understood okay so similarly you have to do 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 now eighth one sorry exercise b in the following sentences underline the verbs and circle the adverb you already studied what is the verb verb is an action word not only action word helping verbs are there has have had all these are also verbs then you have to put it in your mind and do it saumya sang beautifully so sang is the verb beautifully is the adverb so circle adverb and underline the verb rajiv is working hard in maths so what is the verb what is the verb here underline the verb is working is is also a verb that is helping verb so is working how he is working hard how action is done hard hard is the adverb so similarly you have to do 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 in your grammar textbook now exercise c circle the interjections underline the preposition and make boxes around conjunctions in the following sentences please listen properly focus on the question and do it very carefully circle the interjections underline the prepositions and make boxes around conjunctions in the following sentences jeet or j must stay back or or is a joining word conjunction then we looked for the ring under the table but could not find it so second one under is the preposition then but is what conjunction okay then o oh, word showing emotions o oh, what is that interjection into into is preposition so similarly you have to do 4 and 5 then name the part of speech that the word printed in bold belong to see exercise d the train was late they train students to become doctors so here in that black color first train is a noun isn't it it's a train which you used to travel from one place to another in the second one they train students here the second one train means giving practice so that is a verb so same word can be used as a noun and a verb see the difference so the first one train is a noun and the second one train means it's a verb 3 4 and 5 try to do it by yourself and exercise e use the following words and sentences of your own use each word as a noun and as a verb that we'll discuss when you come to our class then read the following passage and write which part of speech the words in bold belong to noun verb adjective or pronoun the word is already given comel wakes up wakes is a verb so in the bracket you have to write we then she goes for a walk walk is a verb so in the bracket you have to write we park park is what park is a noun so you have to write n then again walks comes so you have to make it as a verb 
okay it it is a pronoun so there you have to write p so similarly you should complete that exercises okay so before winding up let us discuss what we studied in this lesson there are eight parts of speech in english language which are they which are they noun pronoun verb adverb adjective preposition conjunction interjections noun is the name of a person name of a place name of a thing pronoun is a word which is used in the place of a noun he she or these are it or these are examples verb is an action word action word doesn't means that it is only jumping and eating or playing it can be also helping verbs it can be also verbs of have verb forms has have had all these are also verbs then adverb is a word which modifies a verb which gives how an action is done she sang melodiously melodiously is adverb how she sang that is adverb then adjective adjective gives more information about a noun i love green bag red bag so red is the adjective it gives quality to the noun bag then preposition preposition actually means it shows the relationship between a noun or a pronoun in a sentence and uh, please remember it shows the location where the noun is i told you the book is kept on the table on is the preposition then conjunction what do you mean by conjunction conjunction means connection junction i said now from the name itself you can guess conjunction means it's a connecting word and or but all these are conjunctions you will study it in detail by the end of grade 5 okay then interjections are words which show sudden emotion surprise and feelings so it's clear i think all the topics that we discussed it's very clear to you hopefully we'll continue in the next class okay thank you take care